Hi everyone, Esther here from Esther Astro Healing. Thank you for tuning to my channel. I want us to look at the um, sky for the upcoming week. It's really important. I would call this significant week. Why significant? Because we have a few important beginnings. They all lead to the same um, to same thing. They definitely very much lead to Saturn and a Saturn work this coming years. And we have a couple of very important events coming this week. It's it's good for us to at least to know and to pay attention. Again, as I always want to mention, I do not uh, practice Western astrology. It's a sidereal system, direct sky. So always check your sign, your moon, your rising, and your sun. If uh, not from the Western calculation, definitely sidereal system. As well, I want to mention, I do not believe in uh, predictive astrology for spiritual being. Uh, otherwise, we're counseling the Creator, the Hashem, within us. And uh, with that, we basically saying, uh, you know, whatever is already predicted, it's already set uh, on His own way. It's not how system works. The whole playground was created for us here in order for us to work on ourselves. And therefore, by making a more spiritual decision, a decision with more awareness, we bring us to a completely different outcome. Okay, so just wanted to make a note of that. Now, we're going to start today, Sunday. I'm making video of Sunday. We're going to, uh, you can see moon. It's right now uh, in sign of Libra. And start from Monday. Moon is going to move to a sign of Scorpio. Moon is extremely important. Moon represents our mind, uh, our moodiness, our other personalities as well, which is many times bring us more uh, on the negative side. It's uh, creating sometimes, you know, uh, problems, something, you know, how they say, why to fix something is not broken. So we need to know how to work with the moon energy. And for those of you who moons in Scorpio or even your rising or important planets in Scorpio, be, be aware, beginning of this week, um, just uh, pay attention to emotions and perhaps any anger can activate it by uh, whatever situation. So if it's happened, remember, then you know the moon right now really uh, creating this environment. Therefore, you are the creator, and it's your choice, your power, your willpower to make a right, proper decisions, okay? And don't forget, moon is going to be, if I'm going to move right now on February 14, just you can see the moon going to be in direct, direct opposition with Mars, which is in Taurus. And um, it's, it's uh, you know, it's intense energy, so we're better aware. It doesn't mean we need to be intense, but when it's intense energy, we need to take it easy. What is the restriction? We need to apply restriction. We need to apply restriction, what comes from, from our mouth, what information we put, how it resonates, and what we do with this information. So it's really, really important. Now, I want us to go over a couple of things just for us to refresh our memory, what's really happening in the sky uh, this month in general, what important events. Remember the, uh, you know, we Mercury transit in Capricorn already happened on February 6th until uh, February 27th when, uh, you know, Mercury transit in Capricorn, it's actually much better position than Mer Mercury was in Sagittarius. When Mercury in Sagittarius, he's actually becoming a little bit more out of control what comes from his mouth if we, again, we not apply our spiritual tools. Now, while he's in Capricorn, he become, um, he loves to be in Capricorn and he loves to interact proper way with energy of Saturn from Capricorn perspective. And he can help us uh, in at workplace to make proper decision, to hold, uh, to think before we speak. So this is actually excellent Mercury. And definitely check uh, what Mercury in your chart, if it's... Uh, a retrograde Mercury stationary if it's Mercury which has completely been blind by sun, so it's going to feel a little bit different. And of course, we have a sun transit in Aquarius from February 13, which is we're talking about on Monday night. It's going to start. So sun transit from Aquarius to Aquarius, it's really, really important event. One of the very important events of the whole week, because, you know, the sun, it's our father, our superior, our energy. Our, um, our energetical force in our side of, inside of our sun, inside of our chart as well. And from February 13 until March 14, it's going to be in Aquarius. 
and we need to always remember what's happening in Aquarius right now, right? We have a Saturn. So it's really, really important events happening this week with Saturn in, in, uh, in Aquarius and with Sun. I'm going to explain a little bit more in depth what's actually going to happen. Now, we have uh, me, Venus, transit to Pisces from February 15 to March 11. I'm going to repeat again. Venus will be transit to sign of Pisces from February 15 to March 11. I'm preparing a separate video for it. It's a really important event. It's a very positive event. We better take this opportunity. We take this energy. It's not often it's happened. Then actually, you know, Venus loves to be in Pisces. And now she's with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter and Venus have interesting relationship. And I will tell you why. Because, you know, Venus have better relationship, believe it or not, uh, with Saturn, right? And you will think, how come? Because Venus in Hebrew called Noga. And remember, even though she represent beauty and she represent good things in our life and everything would go around the sex, everything would go in around to receiving all the pleasures. But if there's no restriction apply, it's we, we create a lot of uh, not positive things because the Noga, it's one of the heaviest clipot negative shells we, we came to overcome. It's represent uncertainty. It's represent fog. Always remember when we drive in foggy weather is the worst because we don't see where we're going. So we always need to ask when we deal with Venus, clarity, clarity and uh, blessings from the restriction. So from February 15 to March 11, uh, this is going to be a separate video. Therefore, I'm not going to tune too much into it. Now, new moon. A new moon in Aquarius actually going to be end of this week on February 20th. So it's on Sunday from Sunday to Monday. And uh, it's going to be very interesting new moon in Aquarius. Again, remember what's happened. Uh, we have a lot of things in Aquarius. And now we have new moon in Aquarius as well. So it's going to be, it's all about Aquarius. It's I'm, I'm telling you guys, uh, it's not just we in the age of Aquarius. We're all becoming Aquarius. We're all becoming, we work with this energy in order for us to understand what is really to be um you know the uh, part of the universe what is really to live for other people what is really consider your community and your country everything so it's really really important new moon this new moon is going to be like a seed another good seed we can plant in order for us to have better ear now again you know rahu the uh, north node the malefic it's uh you know he, they're going to be on february it's, again it's end of the week so i'm going to do next week another video it's a very very important event with north nodes north node and south node both nodes are going to get to the center point uh a very very important connection on um, on the karmic level it's going to be important day february 21st and 22nd and 19 and 20s so february 20s 21st 22nd very very important days karmic day uh to check where your lunar nodes how is the uh you know locate for from the perspective of um Aquarius, sorry, of um, Libra and um, Aries. Very important. But again, it's going to be next week. Uh, and Mercury, uh, then we're going to have Mercury uh, after he's going to be transit to Aquarius. But right now, Mercury in, uh, again, in Capricorn, which is really, really positive for us. So we're going to stay with that. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to go to uh, day by day. And uh, very important for you, to those of you to pay attention to what's happened with the moon. Now, remember, we're talking about moon for start from uh, 13, then we have 14, and then we have 15. She's going to be almost like in the uh, stink of Scorpio. So um, remember what Scorpio represents. Scorpio, we can get a lot of good energy from Scorpio because Scorpio, you know, if you, Scorpio, it's a healing. It's a lot of, a lot of healing. And we can, um, you know, we can really um, connect to the healer within us and to know how to use the energy of alchemistry and to understand how to take, you know, what is really alchemistry? It's not just on the physical level. It's not you take different elements, you put them together, and you create gold or whatever element you want to create, new a subject. Um, the energy of uh, Scorpio, it's everything. It's how you take all the information and you combine together and what is really you see as a bigger picture, right? Because really in a nutshell, Scorpio as well, it's connect to Mashiach, to final redemption. It says... 
in Talmud, if we overcome the energy of Scorpio, each of us, and will will transform, because uh, remember, Scorpio coming from a house, eight house of transformation, if we're going to transform from negative to positive, because there's no such a thing negative, if we'll know how to switch, immediately switch from negative moment and just see the blessing at the moment, this is when we experience the DNA of uh, Mashiach that moment. So it's really important to remember anything what's happened is the moment, is the second, which is everything what you study, everything what you know, it's for the second, for this moment. And sometimes we don't know Sometimes we come to this dimension for a specifically moment and we can really, so to say, screw it up. So we need to be prepared always into like a spiritual warrior. You understand? Now, what's going to happen here? Let's pay attention. So I'm going to come back again because this is a very important event. I don't want us to miss. So look what's happened on February 13th. We already today, we on Sunday, we can start to feel, but we're going to feel that through whole week. Look at, pay attention on Saturn and Sun. The Saturn and Sun will start the conjunction, the energy we're going to feel already big time on Monday. I'm going to move on Tuesday. So we have 14, 15, Wednesday. And there you go. We arrive on 16. We have a perfect conjunction of Sun and Saturn. It's extremely important. Extremely important. This day, even I recommend 15, 16, 17, study, meditate, do not confront anyone, do, especially if somebody who's your boss or your teacher. Why? What does really sun represent? Sun represent is a cosmic energy as a father. He's a superior. And Saturn, for the father perspective, he represents sun. And Saturn, more malefic than sun sun only wants to good for the sun for the for the sun you know you understand but what saturn saturn actually in a way a little bit uh, wants to attack sun what's happened because he's been burned by sun saturn don't like to be burned by sun why because sun reveal everything with the saturn and what's going to happen all of us if you have any conflict with your own father Anyone who represents superior father figure or even boss, do everything in your power not to activate more fire energy or any conflict. If, if there's any way possible for you to go into effort uh, to or effort peace, peace offering, this is the best. And as well, inside of you, if you are the father and you have a son, this is the good days to have a different connection with your son, spiritual connection, study together, how uh, see yourself as a father, how much you've really given the spiritual food for your children, not just the physical food, spiritual food, what they learn from you, how they observe you, how do you speak to other people, what do you think about the other people, any small comments, it resonates with our children much more than when we preach in them. They're observing us. So this is the really, really important week for the fathers and sons and for children and parents to really to create a balanced relationship. And parents always need to be superior. Parents didn't come to this world to be friends with the children, to give respect, uh, to have good sense of humor with each other. Absolutely. But children need to feel, no matter what age they are, because they need to have an awe is the healthy fear for the parents. Because the way how they have a healthy fear and awe to the parents, this is the first representative of the creator on this dimension. Very important. You cannot expect from kids to respect you only because you give them love. You need to grow always. You need to represent something bigger for them in order for, you, for them to see you big. You understand? Big responsibility. This whole year gonna make all of us much more serious much more focus, and this is exactly what we need. There is a time for fun, for jokes, for sure. Because remember, I I'm the first one who will say, "Don't take yourself too serious. Take your your spiritual work seriously." But at the same time, what's happening in the world right now? Something we're not doing right. Something we're not doing right. Because we're all responsible on our own level <clears throat> about the pain and suffering happening in the world. And to point to other few people's fingers and blame, it's already so yesterday. It never worked. It's never will. 
the transformation start with each of us and whatever level you think you need. So this whole week, I'm going to show you, it's already on 17. I left the point on 17 just to show what's happening. A couple of things happening here. The moon going to come closer to Pluto on 18. So we have after Scorpio, few days, then we have moon for uh, 16, 17, it's in a little bit uh, half of the 15 in uh, Sagittarius, restriction with your mouth. It's uh, very, very important. And to use this for spirituality, it's excellent time for, for study and to understand on a deep level um, any, um, any spiritual knowledge. Sagittarius will help you that. Then we have on 18, which is Shabbat, Saturday, uh, basically from Friday night to Saturday morning, moon will be passing Pluto. You know, I have to tell you, this is there will be excellent time to sit and study Zohar, to study deep knowledge, especially if you have anything it's, you have a hard time to understand. This is the good time to put the perseverance, to, put, to make the effort, and you will see it's going to be a big outcome, okay? Now, look what's happening here. She's uh, coming closer to Mercury. And Mercury right now retrograde, and Mercury right now retrograde in 16 degree. And Mercury has a lot of, a lot of right now inspiration. So it's going to be excellent time because she's right now in Capricorn moon. Um, she's in a position of her own house. It's not her first position, best position, but because we're talking about Shabbat, Saturday and uh, Shabbat, it represents Capricorn, it's, it represents, sorry, it represents uh, Saturn. Uh, she's going to have a lot of uh, support. Okay, it's really, really important. And then we have 19. I'm going to just move uh, 19 because I'm going to show you even Venus as well. You can see Venus. She's been interacting uh, with uh, Neptune for the last few days too at the same time. You can get uh, interesting um, um, divine inspiration for if you're a writer, if you love poem, if you want to write somebody peace offering letter. She's going to help you with that. And definitely Neptune going to help you with that. So so what I want to tell you to complete my uh, my video right now, guys, it's week can uh, play different ways, like everything, but this particular week. Very, very important event of Sun in Saturn. Saturn and Sun every year, once a year, they're passing by each other. But the, now they're in very, very important uh, location. They are in uh, Aquarius, while Saturn, they are stationary. And it's really important uh, to, for you really to have the deep conversation with yourself, what kind of parent you are, or what kind of um, relationship you have with your, your parents, with, um, with your father, with your teacher. Um... And remember, we constantly exchange our um, interaction with other people, whoever older us, whoever younger us, of us. We almost like a constantly play father-child relationship with many, many people. When somebody really needs your help and you come from a place of real care, almost like your own child, you want to help someone. This is in a way you become like a father at that moment to other soul who really need your support. And um, to give love to other child, not uh, not your own children, to support other children. Because children, you know, they are not just our future. The children who's coming right now, what a special souls. They literally came to save us. We better help them to create environment for them, to let them to save us with really understanding they came and came from the future to really, they really know what is the world coming and what how much we need to work on ourselves and they actually came to give us a lot of love we just need to open our hearts okay guys i wish you many many blessings wish you a great week i will make another few videos about a couple events uh, more than depth if you have any questions uh, please uh, always reach out i you have my email my assistant always uh, will reply to you, and uh, we uh, we always here to to be for you. Uh, please like if you feel this information uh, in benefit for you. If you can share with your friends, I appreciate your time. All the best. Much love.